This is question two. Here I'm asked to work out three and one eighths subtract one and two thirds. Now, when I'm given mixed numbers, the easiest way to add or subtract them is by turning them into improper fractions first. So I'm going to take three and one eighth and I'm going to turn that into a, a an improper fraction. And then I'm going to take one and two thirds and I'm going to turn that into an improper fraction as well. So to turn this into an improper fraction, all that I need to do is take the denominator, which is eight, multiply it by the whole number and then add the numerator. So I'm going to have to do eight multiplied by the whole number three. So eight times three gives me 24. Then add on the one which gives me 25 eighths. So what I can say is that three whole, three wholes and one eighth would be the same as having 25 eighths. Doing the same for the second uh, mixed number, three multiplied by one uh, gives me three, add on the two gives me five thirds. So all that's now left for me to do is to subtract these improper fractions. The way that I like to do this is I like to then say what I'm going to do is I'm going to write out equivalent fractions to 25 eighths and 5 thirds. And the reason that I'm going to have to do that is because at the moment I can't subtract these as they are because the denominators are different. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to write a common denominator uh, for these fractions. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to look for what is the lowest common multiple of the denominators that I have got. And the lowest common multiple of 8 and 3 is 24. So I'm going to write 24 on the bottom of my fractions. Then I need to then think about, well, I did, I'm making an equivalent fraction. So the way that I need to think about that is, well, what have I multiplied the denominator by to reach this new denominator? And I can say that I've multiplied that by 3. Then, whatever I have done to the denominator, I'm also going to apply that to the numerator as well. So I've multiplied the denominator by 3. I'm now going to multiply the numerator by 3 as well. And so that's going to give me 75 over 24. So all that I have done there, that 75 over 24, is that is just another way of writing 25 over 8. I could think of it almost like I'm unsimplifying 25 over 8. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 5 thirds and do exactly the same. So what have I multiplied 3 by to reach 24? I have multiplied it by 8. So I'm going to do exactly the same to that numerator 5. So 5 multiplied by 8, which is going to give me 40. So I've now got 70, uh, 75 over 24 minus 40 over 24. Remembering that when I'm subtracting fractions which have the same denominator, the denominator stays the same. And I'm doing 75 minus 40 which gives me 35 over 24. And now all that is left for me to do is note that I've still got an improper fraction. So ideally, I would like to have that as a mixed number instead. So I'm now going to convert it back, convert 35 over 24 back into a mixed number. So how many 24s fit into 35? That is 1 with a remainder of 11 over 24. So final answer here, 35 over 24, or I could also say that is 1 and 11 over 24.